Showcase Yakima, a partnership of KYVE 47 and the Greater Yakima Chamber of Commerce. Underwritten in part by Thorner Kennedy and Gano, meeting the legal needs of the Yakima Valley since 1976. And by Argus Insurance, helping you today to secure your tomorrow. And by Yakima Valley Regional Medical and Cardiac Center, home of the 15-minute ER guarantee. And by Central Valley Bank, large enough to serve, small enough to care. And by Treetop, 50 years of growing good. And by Fitterer's Furniture, quality furniture since 1896. Hi, I'm Thane Phelan, Communications and Events Director for the Greater Yakima Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to Showcase Yakima, where we highlight some of the great people, businesses, and organizations of the Yakima Valley. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the Committee for Downtown Yakima. Since the CDY started, improvements to the downtown area have been tremendous, from graffiti removal to great events and extra downtown security. So come with us as we take a look at the Committee for Downtown Yakima on this edition of Showcase Yakima. Hey, we're out here on a beautiful spring day in downtown Yakima, and we're talking to Matt Klaus from the Committee for Downtown Yakima. Matt, nice to nice to meet you, nice and to meet good you. to have you on the on the program. Thank we're going to talk a, a little bit about uh, what the Committee for Downtown Yakima does, and specifically mm -hmm. the Clean and Safe Ambassadors, which you're the operations manager yes. of. And uh, for, you're, you're award winning now. Yeah, we are. We uh, received an award this year from the Visitors and Convention Bureau for the Ambassador uh, Visitor Ambassador of the Year which normally goes to an individual, but actually the whole team won it this year for our efforts uh, in downtown. And that's the first. That's, that's the first, yes. Yeah, that is very yeah. nice. And uh, so let's talk a little bit about the Clean and Safe Ambassadors. People I know have seen them around town, oh, yeah. and they may not know where they're from or, or what they do, and, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Yeah, great. Um, most of our ambassadors, uh, we're also known as the Purple Shirts because uh, we all wear purple as our shirts, and uh, um, they're all local people, and uh, we're uh, in a unique partnership that we've developed with uh, People for People, which is a nonprofit here in town that helps uh, put people to work with you know, barriers to employment or that have struggled to find employment. And uh, we work a training program for them, and then they transition right into uh, full-time jobs with the Committee for Downtown Yakima. All right, yeah, the purple shirts, yeah, everyone's mm -hmm. seen those around, and of course you got the uh, the orange vest on. Yes. Um, now, some of the things that you do, people know about this, you may be some, uh, you know, sweeping and cleaning and garbage mm -hmm. removal, but there's, uh, well, first of all, let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah. The downtown has improved so much over the last couple of years. Oh, and immensely, a, yeah. a lot of that has to do with what you guys do. So, first of all, let's talk about a little bit of cleanup. So, what, what areas of, uh, what areas do you cover? And um, and you know what are some of the projects they work on? Well, our, our boundaries are about 79 square blocks downtown of uh, the the business district, which uh, the boundaries are basically Lincoln to Walnut, and from um, Sixth Avenue, a little above Sixth Avenue, all the way down past the Visitors and Convention Center down there on Ninth. Mm -hmm. So and so, uh, talk about the trash removal. Like I, I think I was reading some pretty incredible statistics last year on exactly how much. You guys are taking out of the downtown area. Right? Um, oh, it's in, it's in a hundred uh, thousands of tons a, a year. Yeah, yeah it, it's an incredible amount. I mean, our daily average is well into you know five six hundred pounds a day. Mm -hmm. um, we start off in the morning. Everyone has a, a district that they're responsible for, so that way they kind of take ownership in their own area and their territory. Mm -hmm. And uh, first thing we do is go on a litter patrol, and and we pick up garbage that we find on the on the streets and on the sidewalks and stuff. And then we're also looking for graffiti that can be removed at that time every day. Um, well, that's another area that you guys have been a big part of downtown definitely. Yakima. Is, uh, you're saying just in the last couple, uh, what was it, how many, how many cases of uh, graffiti removal? Have you uh, last month alone, uh, I think it was 681 graffiti tags that were removed in the downtown business district. We're down here now on uh, North Front Street, and this is another area of Yakima that, well, very historical. We've got the old city hall, and we've got some great buildings down here, great restaurants and businesses, mm -hmm. and another area that's getting used more and more with your support. Yeah, it's uh, one of my favorite areas, you know, with the historic buildings and the, the nice streetscape that they've done and the, the paver road down here. Um, you know, it really highlights some of the, you know, the character of Yakima, and there's quite a few events that, you know, come down here and, and more to come. Um, they have the fashion front down here, and this is where they have, the museum holds its skewered apple barbecue competition, which is the beneficiary of the museum. And you have the track 29 over here. Yeah, which this is, is always a great part of Yakima. Yeah, it, it, it's great. And you got the depot. I mean, this is 100 years old, the depot down. 
on here. And mm -hmm. this is some of the character of Yakima that still remains, you know, where some of the uh, the old historic buildings have been torn down in the past. They all remain down here, and it's it's one of the better parts of Yakima, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And also another area that you guys you guys do a lot of the uh, now obviously these are from the businesses, but uh, yes. you guys do a lot of the beautification, the flowers. Yeah, we've got the hanging baskets down here, and we, we maintain the sidewalks and keep things, you know, the irrigation system. We've got the trees. Um, you know, there's lots of stuff down here that brings the character down here. You know what I like is uh, to come down here during the winter, and you guys are also the ones behind the twinkle lights, aren't you? Well, um, we help the city maintain them. Oh, okay. um, we, we do some work with that as well. Yeah. And, you know, with the, the, the tree lights and, you know, the, the Christmas decorations that the businesses put out, you know, we do a lot of promotions as far as, you know, different things like we have a uh, orchid award in the, in the springtime for people yeah, with their landscaping. Yeah, that yeah. Uh, like a place like Santiago's wanted a few years ago and yeah. the beautiful work they do and you always exactly. Notice. And yeah. then we have a scarecrow competition in in October. Uh -huh. You know, for people to dress up their window fronts, and then we have a window painting competition. So there's lots of things that we do to you know promote downtown yeah, and to kind of get a uniform look downtown. Then twinkle lights, you know, throughout the town and the trees. That's just one more aspect of it. Yeah. Well, a great looking area, and I'm sure one that's going to get used more and more for events. One of the yes. latest projects you've uh, been working on is down at the convention center. So let's go take a look down at that. Sounds great. All right. And now we're down here in kind of the, this is the welcome district I always think of as uh, to Yakima. We've got, uh, just as you come in on Yakima Avenue. Yeah, uh, with our main entrances. Yeah, definitely. our Chamber of Commerce, of course, the Convention Center here, the mm -hmm. Yakima Visitor, uh, Visitors and Convention Bureau. Uh, yeah. and you support all these groups as well. Tell us a little bit about your yeah. work around the, uh, the area here. Yeah, we've done quite a bit of stuff for down here. Um, obviously, we uh, maintain the uh, landscaping at the Chamber. Um, actually, even the rotary, the Welcome to Yakima sign as you enter, uh, you know, we do the landscaping and maintenance for that as well. Um, and when they redid this courtyard here, when they built this here, uh, we did the planting of the pots and the flowers and the landscaping that you see in here, except for the trees. Um, you know, we've done all that and we uh, help maintain that with the convention center as one of our partnerships. Oh, okay. And see, and this is another area. We were talking earlier about you guys being award winners. Uh, yes. And the first group award winner with the uh, Visitor and Convention Bureau yes. uh, for your Encore Award. Yeah. They just won for the great uh, for the great new plaza here from the Chamber of Commerce yes. for a Yes Award. That's great. And uh, so I guess by teaming up some of these organizations, it really does not only, uh, well, it, not only are you recognized for it, but uh, it really adds to the whole climate and the beautification of Yakima. Oh, yeah. Downtown. I mean, you know, you're, you're going to definitely want to, you know, enjoy an area that looks as beautiful as this. You know, and this is just one of the new projects, obviously, um, you know, with all the other projects that's been done to beautify downtown and the flowers and the landscaping that we have uh, put in down here and worked with the uh, convention center to put in. Uh, it just adds to it and helps, you know, create and grow um, the visitors that come to downtown. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to bring more conferences and more visitors down here. And, and uh, some of your funding, let's talk a little bit about this, uh, some of the funding that you guys get is from the businesses that are members of the, uh, of the it's called BIDS, right? The yeah, Business Improvement District. Okay, BID. and Downtown Yakima Business Improvement District, I've, I've read about that a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then also from some of the contracts. Which yeah, we, we contract, you know, maintenance contracts, you know, with the Chamber of Commerce. We, uh, we contracted with them to maintain their landscaping. Uh, we contracted with the Rotary to mow and maintain the Welcome to uh, Yakima sign that's on Yakima Avenue. Uh, they put that in with their money and uh, part of their agreement is that they're going to maintain it. They've contracted the labor part of it out with us. And uh, there's lots of other businesses downtown. Once again, uh, the Allied Arts, uh, Millennium Plaza is another contract with us. Sure. And uh, we also have the Second Street Park, which um, uh, that's on the corner of 2nd and A Street, which is a partnership with the county. Now, the county crews mow and trim, but we maintain all the landscaping. We built the park and put it in, you know, for them. Mm -hmm. so. All right, so, yeah, and that's just, a, boy, we have touched on a lot of the things that you do today. So, uh, kind of just talking about the, the cleanup, uh, obviously tons of garbage removed every year. Yes. Um, you guys do the graffiti removal, and you said you've gone through actually process after process to find the best ways to do that. Yeah, so, you know, after years of trying to remove graffiti, we've eliminated what doesn't work and found what does work. And uh, a lot of other cities and areas, a lot of businesses, um, the uh, uh, Union Gap School District, um, I did some consulting with them on uh, graffiti removal for them. Uh, the city of Grandview, uh, Granger, and actually even Ellensburg. Um, you know, we, I've you know explained to them different things that work and, and how to remove graffiti. 
just from years of doing it, and you know, we know what works and what doesn't. And your downtown businesses, and you pretty much are available to them. They can call at any time. Oh yeah, I'm available by cell phone. Oh, okay. You know, pretty much, you know, seven days a week, you know, 24 hours a day. Um, you know, they call me and if they have questions and stuff, if I don't know the answer, I will find a solution for them if at all possible. Well, thanks again, Matt. I want to thank you for talking to us today and kind of showing us all the projects you're involved with, with you and your Clean and Safe Ambassador crew, an award-winning crew now. That's, <laughs> got to feel, that's got to feel nice. Yeah, we do. We, we appreciate uh, the recognition for the hard efforts that my crew puts in. Um, you know, it, they do they do a lot of work, and they're, they're a really dedicated crew. Yeah, so the next time you see them around uh, Yakima, make sure you say thank you for the great job they do to keep Yakima. Looking great in downtown Yakima specifically. You guys, uh, as I said, uh, you're everywhere. It seems like you're omnipresent when it comes to downtown. Yeah. So so thanks again for talking to us, Matt. Thank you. Joining us now in the downtown offices of the Committee for Downtown Yakima, it is the Interim Executive Director, Jamie Lee Stickle. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, we, we had met Matt earlier and found out all the street, uh, out on the streets that uh, the Committee for Downtown Yakima does. But uh, explain to us, tell us about what it is, uh, what a business improvement district is, and, and how that affects all the uh, downtown businesses here. Well, the Committee for Downtown Yakima was formed um, officially in September of 2008 mm -hmm. and for three years we'll have a business improvement district at sunsets in September of 2011 so coming right up now mm -hmm. and we have clean safe services with the ambassadors that you saw earlier today and the beautification services that we provide where we hang baskets and plant flowers and then we do some promotions like our first Friday program mm -hmm. and our quick free zone and events as well like our upcoming summer kickoff party all right, and you were talking about some of the things out now. You say that uh, the sunset comes now. What happens at that point? Uh, because I think a lot of us remember how downtown was before you were here. Right. What happens uh, after the, at the sunset date? Well, we're currently working on reauthorizing the business improvement district. So we're asking the property owners and the business owners to continue to buy in to mm -hmm. their downtown. You know, it's if you think of the downtown as your living room, you want to make your living room nice so that when people come or you want to spend time, you have a beautiful place to do it that's safe. And so we're, we're asking the property owners and the business owners to continue to support not just the organization, but their city. So tell us exactly what is a business improvement district? A business improvement district is an area that has been um, chosen by the city mm -hmm. and basically we provide the services that go above and beyond what the city is able to financially and, and manually do. So the city does garbage removal and mm -hmm. I know through the YPAL program there is some graffiti removal but we are able to remove graffiti on a daily basis um, and when you remove graffiti it helps to stop graffiti or um, lesson graffiti I right, should say sure. and then we actually um, also removed garbage last year we removed about a quarter million pounds of garbage throughout the downtown area and we had talked about this the, there's a sunset coming up on it now uh, a lot of the cities in Tacoma uh, comes to mind for me mm -hmm. somebody who knew downtown Tacoma quite well before it became a business improvement district uh, are there any cities that have seen this go away and, and seen the effects of losing uh, something like the committee for downtown Yakima um, you know I don't know of any that have lost their business improvement district and had to deal with the effects um, off the top of my head. I'm sure that it's happened. Uh, it's really about the community and having property owners and business owners buy in to their storefronts where they bring their friends, where they take their family for dinner and for shopping. And so, you know, I don't really like to think about what happens if the business improvement district goes away because then the things that we love about downtown Yakima would go away also. And we really have seen those improvements. You guys have worked hard on uh, the, the parks, the, um, the different areas. Matt was showing us the uh, even the vacant lots that are improved by what you do to Absolutely. give the overall downtown appearance. Um, tell us about you. You also have some awards that you give out for the downtown. Yeah, we do um, awards throughout the year that just get business owners and property owners to buy in a little bit further. Some encouragement. Right. Our, for example, our clean and safe um, team, we mm -hmm. do all the flower baskets and plant flowers in the planters and troughs throughout the downtown. And, you know, we only have, that money only goes so far. And so by having a contest where business owners and property owners can buy a little extra, you know, hanging baskets or flowers for it in front of their business or property, it has them buy in. It gives a little fun, competitive time. But 
we are able to make the downtown look even better um, with just people wanting to participate. Sure, sure. So tell us a little bit about the area that uh, the Committee for Downtown Yakima covers. We have 77 blocks that we maintain, and the way that that came about is basically the West Side Merchants, the Front Street Asso Association, and then the old downtown, what people mm -hmm. would generally think of downtown, came together to decide to have one big business improvement district. Um, so 77 blocks, we split it into four quad quadrants, and we have ambassadors at detail, clean and, clean and uh, remove graffiti from those areas Monday through Friday, um, from eight until about three, okay. depending on the weather. Specifically, uh, then you're, when you talk about the downtown, was there um, was there a reason to include like some of the historical buildings in the downtown area? Um, I mean, to to make that your zone in your area, right? Like that? Well, you know, our we want to take care of the things that are the gems of downtown. And if you think about some of the great buildings that we have, the Great Western mm -hmm. Building, the Capitol Theater, Larson Building, and then the, some of the areas, you know, we have all of the antique malls um, on the west side of uh, Yakima Avenue mm -hmm. and then we've also got Front Street you know taking care of those those you know uh, gems that have been around sure. for years and years and years and so in the future you know we want to make downtown Yakima clean and safe and continue to cherish the gems and the historical uh, buildings and areas throughout the downtown and so that our children and children's children can still love what we love Speaking of that, downtown, now there are places to have retail shops, obviously uh, uh, shopping areas, and there are places to live. Tell us a little bit about, uh, that's another service that you provide, is to let people from out of town or people that are in town mm -hmm. know where they could set up a business or where they possibly could uh, set up a house. Mm -hmm. um, part of the promotion that we do is not just promotional events, but actually promoting the vacancies, if there are some, um, which are a filling up mm -hmm. very fast, which is really nice to see, and promoting living downtown. You know, it's great to have downtown living. If you go to places like Seattle and Portland, that's where a big majority of the population is. You've seen a lot of cities with things like the lofts, put in a lot of loft apartments exactly. and things like that. Exactly. So it's just a nice way for us to be able to promote the great things that we have downtown. Living in downtown Yakima uh, used to be just something that people would think about doing or or you know, would dream about doing, mm -hmm. but now it's actually becoming reality, and it's great. It's it's great to promote that. Yeah, and it seems like the shopping is improving all the time too. Uh, yeah, we have some really great shops down here, um, from for things for kids, things for adults, clothing. So it's really nice to be able to, you know, when you bring outsiders into Yakima, especially people who haven't been here, they're really impressed with what we have and 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 the things that we have to offer. And uh, speaking of that, not only shopping downtown, living downtown. But uh, one of the great things that we do downtown is First Fridays. And tell us, you know, how did how did First Fridays get going? What it, what basically what that means if somebody was going to come down and enjoy it? Right. Um, First Fridays. There are lots of cities that do similar promotions. We ask that the businesses stay open a little later on the first Friday of every month and do something special. Um, for example, the Second Street Grill has a DJ that comes in at ten, and if you. It's standing room only pretty much when you get there because there's so many, so packed, and most people don't think about dancing at the Second Street Grill. Mm -hmm. um, we have businesses stay open and offer discounts on their services or what you can buy there, their merchandise. There's retail specials, drink specials, live music. Uh, it's just a really great, fun event, and a lot of our businesses say it's their, their best event of the month. Now, I see that uh, corkage zones have become, is it legal now in, is that the term in I, the state of Washington? I guess that that would be what the terminology yeah. is. Um, basically, de restaurants, not just in our downtown, but across the nation, if you bring a bottle of wine in from a winery or mm -hmm. that you've purchased at a store, they will uncork the wine for you, but they mm -hmm. charge you a fee. And that can go anywhere from $7 to $20 in downtown Yakima. And Jar can owner of Santiago's is the one who actually started this and he said if you buy wine at a downtown winery and you bring it into my store that same day and show the receipt I'll uncork it for you and I'm gonna waive the fee and so he and I worked together and, and walked throughout the downtown and we talked to all of the businesses or all the restaurants rather and see if they wanted to get on board um, and then the liquor control board um, had a little bit of an issue with that and so Jar and Catherine, who's the general manager of Cana Winery, uh, went to Olympia and they said, this is a promotion we want to do, this is mm -hmm. something we believe in, 
businesses working together, and they found a way to make it work, and it's wonderful. And it was signed into law, I think, last month by yes. Governor Greg Warren. Yes. It's, it's really great to see two businesses or, or several businesses working together um, that just to promote downtown and promote bringing people in and, and promote business. It's great. Well, the Committee for Downtown Yakima involved in a lot of cleanup downtown, but you also have some humanitarian efforts, too, that you uh, provide for the folks that are downtown. Mm -hmm. Um, we work with different organizations throughout the valley to make sure that we're not just pushing homeless people or, or panhandlers out of the downtown, but that there are, we get them into programs that help them out and, and help maybe give them shelter, maybe if there is a drug issue. Mm -hmm. And um, we actually received some information from the Yakima Police Department that said that Part 1 crimes, which are felonies and major crimes in downtown Yakima between 2005, which is the year that we started, and 2010, last year, is actually down 35 percent. Well, those are some great numbers, and I think that that breaks some of the stereotypes that people may have about Yakima and downtown Yakima. Exactly. It's really nice um, to know that maybe that's not all, all of our work, but that when we are on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. basis, consistently removing graffiti, picking up trash, helping with homeless outreach, that we're, we are making downtown Yakima better and safer, not just cleaner and more beautiful. So tell us, how can people find out more information about the Committee for Downtown Yakima? Well, we do have a website, which is www.downtownyakima.com, or they can call and talk to me. And the phone number here is 509-225-2485. Or if you're downtown, stop one of our ambassadors, stop into our office, we're right across from City Hall, and, and chat with us then. Well, now, you and your committee are doing a lot, and, and you're, you're clean and safe, the award-winning, as I've said, yes. uh, clean and safe ambassadors. How can people help if they would like to? We do take donations, although we're not a donations-driven organization. Um, and then we also will t we have various programs that we put on that we could use volunteers for, you mm -hmm. know, events um, and, and just promotional handing out just handing out flyers or information throughout the downtown and then we're working on renewing our funding and so it's helpful if if you love downtown you love the services that we provide to go to your favorite business or your favorite or your property owner and say hey we can't we, we can't let this go away we have to keep right we've noticed what you've done exactly yeah. and you know just having pride in your downtown you know if you see a piece of trash which is probably very rare mm -hmm. pick it up throw it in the garbage love your downtown talk ha you know proudly of it which Sometimes I think we get too much on what we don't have and we don't look at what we really have. We've got a lot. Well, we just want to say thank you today for uh, giving us more knowledge about the Committee for Downtown Yakima, what you do, and, and how busy your clean and safe ambassadors are. And once again, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Showcase Yakima, a partnership of KYVE 47 and the Greater Yakima Chamber of Commerce. Underwritten in part by Thorner Kennedy and Gano. Meeting the legal needs of the Yakima Valley since 1976. And by Argus Insurance, helping you today to secure your tomorrow. And by Yakima Valley Regional Medical and Cardiac Center, home of the 15-minute ER guarantee. And by Central Valley Bank, large enough to serve, small enough to care. And by Treetop, 50 years of growing good. And by Fitterer's Furniture, quality furniture since 1896.